we get this in because we have limited time about the selfie picture, the picture of the selfie that was taken at the Mandela Memorial. The president was spotted there with the Danish and British prime ministers there. Uh, here's what David Cameron has to say about it. Perhaps in my defense, you should always remember that the television cameras are always on, but in my defense, I'd say that uh, Nelson Mandela played an extraordinary role in his life and in his death in bringing people together. And so, of course, when a member of the Kinnock family asked me for a photograph, I thought it was only polite to say yes. <laughs> All right, so also today, the Danish Prime Minister speaking out, saying that it was not inappropriate, calling this event a festive one, a celebration. Uh, here in the New York tabloids, though, they're having a little more fun with this with their headlines. Conservatives on Twitter, they're calling the president flirty, calling the first lady upset because you see her there paying attention to the service in that one shot where the self photo was being taken. W what do you make all of, uh, of all of this? I mean, here we go, you know, dissecting human nature. <laughs> well, I think, you know, people are reading a lot into a photo that captured a particular moment. If you look at other moments, Michelle Obama, who was accused of looking jealously at the Danish prime minister, uh, is smiling and laughing as this is a big tempest in a teapot and it's a confluence of racist and sexist stereotypes as if Michelle is this angry black woman as if President Obama is this oversexed black man who every time he talks to a woman and by the way as if the Danish Prime Minister is just some object of flirtation as opposed to a world leader in her own right. No you make a great point there. The photographer who took that image wrote an article saying but photos can lie in reality just a few seconds earlier the first lady was herself joking with those around her. Her stern look was captured by chance. Uh, so, James, what does it say, though? Because we've got this, you know, article on Salon.com condemning some of the attacks as being racist. But is that taking it a little too far, uh, taking it as, as being racist or just trying to, you know, do anything that, you know, the right wing will, will do to paint a negative picture or it's, something? It's not, it's not taking it too far once you situate it within the context w within which the right wing has attacked uh, the first lady since even before she was the first lady. I mean, they, they, you know, Erin is right here that they've tried to couch her in this uh, stereotypical uh, racist this narrative of the angry black woman um, and and again the fact that we're talking about a selfie or that people are trying to push to read a selfie says two really sad things one technology over determines our news media and our political discourses uh, but then two we don't have enough substantive things to deal with uh, in our nation or in the world uh, that we're going to spend time uh, trying to take this is not even a moment this is a second out of a moment right. uh, that the people are zeroed in on so it is it is this is again much ado about nothing um, except the way in which it indicates the kind of discourse and the kind of narratives with which the right wing has tried to depict the First Lady of the United States. And, and Michael, meanwhile, regardless of, of what people think of the, the First Lady, was obviously paying attention to the service, wasn't involved in the selfie controversy. But here we are, you know, we're adults talking about selfies between the president and prime ministers at a memorial service. I mean, of our time. what does the world yeah. come to? They are? People are representing like if Martians themselves. come down here and land. I'm going to take one right now. You are? Michael, what do you think? I think uh, also, does, this didn't really quite meet the definition of a selfie, did it? Uh, doesn't a selfie mean that you have to go promote it on social media? Well, I the think prime minister, you... the Danish prime minister, I, don't, I think she said it wasn't a good shot. I don't think she's going to be releasing it. So we had so to it, take it, the, you know, the, the, so it's, the it's recruiter film, basically, phones. of the selfie I mean, here. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think Aaron called it a meta selfie. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we're going to leave it right there. But if Martians land, at least we'll have this for them to learn about us in years to come. Aaron Carmo and James Peterson, Michael.